it's logical that black males act the way that we do. I'm a black male. I understand that completely. I came up just like all other black males, I mean, with all the things that are going on. In fact, I mean, I came up in a place where, compared to nowadays, it was a whole lot worse. Uh, you know, when the signs were up, rear seat for colored, colored mm-hmm. drinking water. Don't you go through the back door and take your hat off, Negro. You're talking to a white person. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Do you want to die here? Where are you coming from? You must be one of them Yankee, uh, yeah, in words or whatever. I came up around that. See what I mean? So I've seen the whole pattern. I've seen all the changes that have been made, and I've seen all the thousands of changes that need to be made, millions of changes, because we are nowhere near where we ought to be. So I'm saying I understand this completely. And black males act the way we do because we want to be men. Mm-hmm. But we are told at a very early age when we begin to understand what a man is and what a man isn't, the difference between a man and a boy. Yes, we are sir. told, you know what? you got color in your skin. You will never be a man. Mm-hmm. You are in the system of white supremacy. You will always be a child. So we expect you to act like a child, not responsible for anything. Don't have any sense about anything. And like children do, get out there in the backyard, and in five minutes you're fighting about nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we want to keep you people, because the only man that's going to be on this planet is going to have white skin. Get that in your thick Negro head. It's going to be that way. It's called white supremacy. So we want you black people to get over there on the other side of the tracks and hunt each other down like rabbits. I'll give you the guns because you won't have any unless I give them to you. I mean, you don't have anything, including food on your table, unless I give it to you. And I have to give it to you through your grandmother who's trying to raise you. And she's got a big job that she's never going to complete. Because you ain't going to get raised in the system of white supremacy. You're going to be stretched out at about age 16 from gunfire from the fellas that you went to school with. Or if you get beyond that, I'm going to gun you down because I have to keep the population of you people down to a certain extent. But you all are not going to be told all of this in the schools by your teachers because then if they try to teach you these things, I'm going to fire them. I'm a white supremacist, and don't you ever forget it, boy. There ain't nothing on this planet that you should ever fear as much as you fear me. All you Negroes with your gangs and whatnot, you can kill each other all you want to, but don't you ever get in my face and even say anything that I don't like, or you'll find out what hell is.